too late, man. Now I'm about to get it, get this because it's about to talk about that rich man, right? The rich man that built his house, you know, but didn't know that the Lord required his soul, yeah. right? It's the same with you people. You know, y'all was, was probably uh, stacking up, you know, uh, like let's say it's people they were stacking up for the storm, right. you know, getting everything together, gathering, getting canoes and, and getting all the things you need for the storm. But do you know that the Lord looking like, hey, well, I require you soul tomorrow, so everything you're doing, it's for nothing. It's in vain. So let's get this right. About the rich man, it's like this. Uh, Luke 12. Uh, I'll start at 13. It says, And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he may divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covet covetousness. For a man's life consists of not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And that's what we're trying to tell you people. The things that you have, you know, they don't make you anything. You know what I'm saying? The things that you have, okay, the, a man's life don't consist of the things of, that he has. Man, who cares if you got a beamer? Who cares if you got all the jewelry, you know, all the, the, the women and everything that comes in it, man? You know? Because your life don't consist of that. It's like thinking, uh, what does it say to those that think that uh, gain is godly? And it says that he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plenty. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul. Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. So let's chill. We basically, I'm good. Yeah, I got everything. I got everything I need, man. Yeah. You know. Now I'm going to get some yayan, which is wine in the Hebrew. You know, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna relax. I ain't got nothing to worry about. You know. And I bet some of them rich people thought the same thing too. We ain't got nothing to worry about, man. It says. But the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul had, shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So it is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward the Ha'abas and Yahweh So you people that lay up all these riches for yourself, okay? You, yeah, you, you, you might have the abundance and the riches of this world, but guess what? You ain't rich with the Heavenly Father, man. You ain't in good graces with the Heavenly Father. You know? So I read that again. It says, So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not towards the Most High. And he said unto the disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Basically, hey, the Lord's going to take care of his people. You know? And don't, man, you, hey, you should be focused on what you have and what you can obtain. You know? This, this should be your main focus, the Holy Scripture. Okay? Hey, but the point that I'm making is, how many people do you think that prepared themselves for that storm and still got swept? You see? They didn't know that they saw was being required. So all that time they took of uh, thinking it was while they get themselves out of that uh that tempest it's all in vain just like this man this man had uh he had a little he didn't have enough room uh, in, in his uh his, his house or his barn to store his food and he tore it down and built a bigger one and he, and he, and he, and he i guess he was, he was doing well but what he did not know is he wasn't focused on the lord he was focused on the riches the abundance of the things that he had and this person, same as you people out here that we see. Right. Because you got certain things, like uh, during that time of famine in Egypt, certain grains you can store up and it'll last years and years and years. He probably tilled the land for years and years. He got so much uh, grain and stuff that he couldn't store it nowhere. It's like, you know what, I'm going to build me a big place to store this stuff, and I'm going to go and chill for the rest of my life. Hey, but the most I said, you dying tomorrow. And all that that you run gathered up, that's gonna be for somebody else, man. So, uh, bro, grab, uh, Proverbs 1. I had 
14 and 11. So, because we made this statement, we made this statement that the men of the Lord, we ain't got to pray for the people. We ain't got to put no prayers up for these people. Because even so, the Lord told Jeremiah, a man of the Lord, that don't pray for his people. So we ain't got to do it either, man. We pray for the elect, like Yahweh Shai. That's what we pray for. Bring it out. Jeremiah 14 and 11 Then said the Lord unto me Then said the Lord unto Jeremiah Pray not for this people For their good Whoa, whoa, so the Lord told Jeremiah Don't pray for the people for their good So why would we pray for what's happening to the people Out of uh, the Carolinas Why would we pray for the pe people The things that's happening on the earth To the wider and distressing calamity When the Lord broke it upon them Why would we do that we know that the Lord did that. We know that the, all the works of the Lord is good. Right. See, we 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 in the same mind of y'all by Shem Yahweh You people ain't, man. Uh, like that pray for friends. Ain't nobody praying for Israel. <laughs> so why y'all praying for friends? I'm confused. <laughs> and guess what? You know who you see on the internet always pushing that? Jake. Yep. Jake. We be the main one. Damn near everybody on my timeline had that damn French flag on their face, man. Or the rainbow flag. Y'all always support Esau's causes, man. You but know, don't support their own or care. Don't, right, don't support your own or care. Like how Esau tell you, never never forget 9-11. But, uh, but then they tell you, just 50 years ago, this place was segregated. Oh, forget about that, nigger. But don't you ever forget 9-11. Right, right. Hypocritical, man. And our people go with it, man. Foolishness. Alright. Jeremiah 14 and 11. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offerings and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pe and by the pestilence. Yeah. And guess what? This was happening in the time of what? This is what happened when Jeremiah was telling the people, Look, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians are going to come against you. They're going to ramsack the temple. They're going to carry us captive away to Babylon. They're going to take our children. We're going to go through a famine and everything's going to happen upon us. You know? What's up, bro? Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering uh, who the time we got talking to. You do well? I hear y'all talking. Y'all talking to another yard. Wow. Uh, we, 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 we prophesied. We were prophesying to the wind. Yeah. Right? Scripture say prophesy to the wind. Prophesying to the wind. But and also go out here. What scripture y'all talking about? Awesome. Oh, I can pull the devil and I won't fight it. Yeah. Well, right now we're talking about the Holy Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right now we're talking uh, what the Lord said to Jeremiah about praying not for the, for the people. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So what the topic is is going on over the people that are dealing with uh, Hurricane Thorns. Right. You know what I'm saying? But many of the people world, many of the world say, put your prayers up for what's going on. But the Lord told Jeremiah not to pray for his people. So the men of the Lord ain't gonna be praying for the destruction at hand, the calamities and distress that the Lord is bringing upon the people on the earth. Well, it's not so much the Lord, it's the fact that we're not listening to the Lord's word. So, so we're the Lord, gonna fall victim. So the Lord didn't give me well, you, Isaiah 29 and 6. I get it, but you said you're well, not well, listening to his word. Well, it's his punishment. Well, right. The it fact is that we're not listening to it. It's not yeah, him it's that's a doing it. There's a lot of people that get confused, it. like, oh, well, if there's a God, well, why would he let this happen? We like, know why he's There's doing general it. case of curses. We, we, there's all types no, of reasons why no, babies no, die on. and all that type well, of stuff. There's curses upon only our people. Not only our people, brother. There's generation First and curses. Foremost, no, I mean, that's the, not the only curse no, I'm saying. The curses for Deuteronomy 28, the curses that fell upon our people was for our disobedience. So the thing that's happening all throughout the earth upon us is because we... Now, when you say our people, you're talking about... I'm, I'm wondering what the people are talking about. The Israelites, these people right here. Right, so these those are the chosen ones you want to say. These, right? these, these are real Jews, Jews, right? right? Not the Jews Bible. that they say... Yeah. That, I, I'm right, 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 right. not talking about, bro. So yeah. we know the curses that fell upon us for disobedience. We know that. But we're telling you the stress and the calamity and the events and things that's happening upon the earth. You got to go a little bit. Sorry about that, bro. 
the, the, the law of it, thank you. No doubt, that's our respect. What we're saying is, those things that's coming upon the earth, the Lord bring them. Right. It's not so much for me. I, okay. I get that from the scripture says. So, so but you, it's more so like you, you said. The scripture or? No, I'm just, my whole thing is, it's more so what we're not doing. Like, like they say, that's what not steal. There's a reason why you shouldn't steal, because you're you're blocking your own curses. You, 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 what you read, you're, you're not supposed to steal from your brother, though. You know? Period. You're it's not, not supposed, supposed to be in your brother. heart. You no, know, we're not. We're not supposed so to do y'all y'all believe? Do so y'all believe that there's no white man that can be of God? We ain't say that. I'm asking. No, I'm not about Edomite. not about skin color. I'm asking. But none of us no, no, right. no seed of Edom. Right. Because all the people you're talking about are, are not of color. But see, you got people of scattered. I mean, are are not you know. All those people have a color right there. But now, yeah, yeah, for the beginning, yeah. But now what you have is a scattered and mingled seed. See, we got scattered through the four corners of the earth. After so what? So our seed, slavery, our disobedience. Our disobedience. But, but look, what, what did that though? The, the better of the better of uh, Babylon. I mean, not Babylon, sorry. Babel. Uh, Noah's Ark. We're talking about the entire Babel. Noah's Ark. That's when it all got spread it out, bro. No, well, that's when the, the languages got confounded for the entire Babel. Yeah, there was still okay. a chosen seed. So where did the white man come where from? Was, where did the white man come from? Right here, man. Jacob, Jacob. No, the white man comes from Isaac. Black man. Isaac. Yeah, he was a dark skinned man. Black man. Isaac. You can get. Two nations shall be in your womb. Two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. They are. Back they are mortal enemies. Back up on the camera. You, you can. You can. You can get. You can get. White and black. You can't get. Mor can't mortal get enemies. Black and white. But it's just, you can't. They know they from us. Though. That's, that's true, the thing. That's why they'll always be racist. It's true, but they're always going to be racist. It's, it's always it's all about the seed line. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, sir. So right, if sir. I go deal with a Caucasian woman or a woman from another nation, and I put my seed in her, uh -huh. said my child comes to look out like that woman. Uh -huh. Right? That baby is still an Israelite baby. Right. Because you still got the blood. Yeah. Because it's a seed. So that's why we said it's not about color. It's about the seed. No so whoever goes back to the nation to eat them, they can't make it. In the rest right. of the nation, but you got brothers. We got brothers right now today. They look like a soaking on white man on the corner doing what we're doing exactly what we're doing. Right. Same right. message. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about color at all. You know, no, no color right. thing at all. No. Right. Because right. you could be white making it happen. Yeah, you could. Yeah, because oh, color doesn't. Color, yeah. Because you got it's people. Because you got people of our color. That's not our people. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the or, slavery. Or our people and ain't acting like they're. That's dirt, dirt. Yeah. I mean, they will be a two-thirds slot that I'm asking. Sorry. They may be like a gentile state of mind. Yeah, maybe. I'm just curious. Like, what's your main question? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of questions. Y'all answer them. Okay. I'm, I'm straightforward. I'm not confused. Um, right, so can, I re can I bring this out real fast? Sure. Can you get Isaiah 29 and 6? It's the book of Isaiah, uh -huh. chapter right. 29 and verse 6. Yeah. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and flame of devouring fire so that tempest is a big old windy storm like a hurricane right so the lord is such that right to the point of what he says what he says you shall be visited of the lord of hosts that. He's done that. with he's, that destruction he's, he's doing it now he's, he's, he's flooded the earth with water he promised he wouldn't that's why every time it rained it took the the right the no right 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 um but see i'm more so that like what's going on? Y'all talk about 9/11 and all what's going on. They say there's there's going to be wickedness in half places. If you really think that 9/11, you really think the Taliban came to America no, and really, I'm, I'm not saying y'all did. Okay. I'm not saying. See, I'm not. No, I'm not saying, I'm I'm not saying, I'm there's there's wickedness in half. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. Huh. There's wickedness in half places, yeah. and that's what's going on. These hurricanes. It's down to the fact that these men can control what the heart, the heart program. The heart that's true. Program. But through who? So who who, who will put them? Who, who, who will get them? Put them in that spirit to make them do that. It's free will. It's not God. No. We all got free will. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. See, no, no. See, it's, hold on. We all got. Right now, I'm not going to. But if I wanted to tear off be a crazy man and wanted to kill you, I could through through my own if free the, will. If, but if the Lord will allow it. True. But if you're not if you're not baptized. If you're not baptized, then you're really not under the covenant. How you though. get baptized? Though? Well, we all know how we get baptized. Oh. What? The one way to be baptized. What, what's the We're one not way? talking about the way how John the Baptist did it. But I'm saying, okay, so what's your way? You get get baptized. Uh, Give me a, Ephesians five and twenty six. Because I feel like we on the same thing, just come to it a different way. But yeah, and give me some. 
you can but drop, drop no argument. I just want to know what y'all about talking about. That's all. You know what I mean? So drop everything. Give me Ephesians five and twenty six. Give me Psalms one nineteen and nine. Alright, good. Psalms 19 and 9. 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 Psalms 19 and
do the work. Do the work. Do the work. By by the work. scriptures and, into your mind, you begin and then, to renew yeah, like, yourself. Well, preachers yeah. speak the word, and they actually go to they they they, they don't just go off the top of their head. They they actually open up a Bible when they and they read the word. They're still, but they're still manipulating the scriptures because they're not teaching the scriptures directly to all, the people. Not all.